ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching another video from me, Sanitary103. In this video, I wanted to talk about Thanksgiving. Now, Thanksgiving is one of my most favorite holidays. It's a great time to spend with friends and family, have a nice meal, throw back a few drinks, and watch some football. Go Niners. Don't hate me on that. Unfortunately, if you're on a diet, this holiday can turn into a nightmare, right? With all this food hanging around, how are you going to stay on your diet? What are you going to do? Well, have no fear because in this video, I want to go over three key pieces of advice on how to minimize the damage during Turkey Day. So let's get it started. Now, before I go over these three key pieces of advice, I want to say one thing. If you've been consistent with your diet most of the time, you've been working out hard, you've been very diligent in your workouts and whatnot, and you've lost a lot of weight, and you feel good about yourself, and you know that you can get right back on track, I say go ahead and enjoy this day and pig out and eat whatever you want. Because what you have to remember, everybody, is that people don't get overweight from one meal or even from one day of pigging out. It's multiple days that add up over a calendar year where you start packing on the pounds. So I'm giving you permission, well I should say permission because you can do whatever you want, but don't feel guilty if you want to go and pig out and have some drinks and whatnot. No big deal. Just make sure that the following day you get right back on track. Real quick, uh, prior to me trying to put on some weight and bulk, I had put on a little bit of body fat, which is typically normal. But prior to this, uh, my body fat was really low. I think it was like under 10%. And even during that period, I was actually pigging out once a day, which was Sundays. Now, granted, my routine from Monday through Saturday was really, really strict. And I think most people cannot probably sustain it, but it still worked and I was very lean. But anyways, enough with that. Now with the three key pieces of advice, the first piece of advice is how to eat and what types of food to eat. So right here I just have a standard normal size plate right here. I don't want to get this in the way too much, but pretty much uh, the main component in Thanksgiving is turkey and that's actually very advantageous because turkey is high in protein, it's a great source of it zero carbs and it helps keep you feeling fuller for a long period of time so at least one third of your plate pack it in with the turkey just pack it in as much as you want it doesn't matter uh the gravy you know just go really light on it you know don't get too crazy with it but get the white meat the dark meat pack it in now the second portion of the plate you want your vegetables uh your salad you want to fill it all up because that's a lot of fiber once again. It's slower digesting, lower in carb. And the last portion of your uh, meal, that's when you can kind of, you know, indulge a little bit, I say. It's not a big deal. A little scoop of mashed potatoes, a little bit of stuffing and whatnot. Have some water, watch some football, and just have a good time. So uh, that's pretty much it. You want to stick with the proteins and the veggies. If you stick with those two components, you're going to be on the right track. Now the second piece of advice I have for you is that when you eat, slow down, slow your roll as they say. Now it takes the brain about 20 minutes to trigger before your stomach tells you that you're full. So if you have a plate of food and you're just looking down and you're just shoveling it really fast and you're not breathing, you're going to end up overeating. If you slow things down a little bit, you're going to eat less calories because it's going to hit the brain, your brain's going to say, no more and then that's it and the third and last piece of advice and it kind of coincides with the second piece of advice which i told you which was to slow down eating is to be aware of your surroundings and enjoy the moment socialize with your friends and family get engaged in conversations um, have a good time and try to divert your attention away from the food now this isn't to say to let the food sit there and get cold but if you only are there focusing on the food and you're just there to pig out and you're not talking to anybody, you're probably going to overeat. Have the food there, eat it at a good pace, but go ahead and talk to, you know, your family. That's what they're there for. And, you know, I don't know what your family dynamic is, but some of you people might have some family coming from even another country, out of state. Um, just enjoy the moment with them. And by doing that, you'll hopefully divert some attention away from the food and hopefully prevent you from overeating.
Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching another video. I hope the advice that I gave to you can be of benefit. And also to be sure that if you are going to be drinking, then make sure you have a designated driver. Be safe, and I'll see you guys after the holidays. Bye-bye.